We all want to look good without paying a lot of money. Nothing is new and there's nothing wrong about that. But to be able to make the most out of our money, we need to know the best brands to buy from. And that's where I'll be helping you in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Peter and in this video, I'm going to go over my top five brands to purchase basic essentials from when you're on a budget. So throughout the video, I'll be covering why I think the brand is good for value, the durability of their clothes and recommend a few pieces that you may want to pick up from them. So the brands I recommend will cover different price points. This is because people have different budgets and I wanted to give you guys alternatives to see what fits you best. Regardless of which brand you want to buy from and what piece you want to buy, just remember that it is always smarter to have a strong set of essentials in your wardrobe before purchasing and playing around with more unique pieces. With that being said, please leave a like on the video at any point you find it useful. Thanks. Anybody who cares about basic essentials will know about Uniqlo. I will probably own a few pieces from this brand and for good reason. Just to get out of the way, this is my favorite brand to pick up essentials from. They offer almost every single type of essential in different varieties that you could ask for. Not only that, but the quality of their pieces is very high considering how affordable Uniqlo is. This means that a shirt that would typically last you a year with regular use would actually last you two years if you purchased it from Uniqlo. I've owned some of their graphics t-shirts for years and I've put them through the ringer and they've barely faded in colour. And I still use them as undershirts for my jumpers. If one thing that I would recommend to buy from Uniqlo, it would be this oversized Arizon t-shirt. I randomly ran into this online when I was looking for clothes to bring on holiday and the description made it sound so nice to wear and it definitely was. Going beyond how nice it feels on the skin and its breathability, I really like the lengths of the sleeves and the torso. It's just about right for someone of my height. I honestly don't think that I can ever find a better t-shirt than this one. For pants, I recommend their wide leg jeans. They come in four different color options. I actually own the lighter grey because I don't own a baggy pair of jeans in that colorway. So it was a perfect opportunity to buy a pair of Uniqlo jeans. The reason why I really like these pants is because they're just baggy enough that you can go between streetwear and sort of casual, smart casual wear. I wouldn't really push for smart casual, but you can probably pull it off with a darker colorway. Another thing that I love about Uniqlo is that when you wear their clothes, there's just no branding on it. It's like they're saying that they're so proud of their quality that that is their branding. They don't need to push for a logo. They're just pushing for the quality of their clothes, which represents their brand. And that is just really cool. And that's just some of the reasons why Uniqlo is my favorite affordable basic essentials brand. Over the couple of years, ASOS design has expanded into a wide variety of affordable options from jackets to socks. And I have owned some ASOS design pieces as alternatives to more premium styles. I do this because I want to test out the quality and the fit before cashing out for something more expensive. They have definitely made fashion more diverse and affordable by offering all these different silhouettes at very cheap prices. And this is really helpful for someone who's trying to rebuild the essentials of their wardrobe. For example, if there's a t-shirt that you want from a premium brand that is a bit more expensive, you can just look for a similar alternative from ASOS Design and just try that for a while because you might find out that that kind of shirt does not really fit with your wardrobe or your style. And because you paid less for the ASOS alternative, it means you didn't lose out as much for not liking the piece. Well, of course, the ASOS design option will not be exactly like the one you want from the more premium brand. It's just so that you can gauge what you like, what you don't like, and whether it will be worth it just to upgrade to the more premium one. It's just a way for you to make the most out of your money in that sense, because you could just buy the premium one off the bat and just hate it. But saying that my experience with ASOS design has been a bit hit and miss. Some pieces have really good decent quality and some pieces are just bad quality overall. But generally the fits are really good. And whilst we are on the subject of ASOS, I want to talk about Collusion and Weekday. Both brands are offered on the ASOS website. Both of these brands offer a good selection of blank essentials at very good quality at very affordable prices. As for recommendations, I really like the ASOS design oversized jogger pants. I purchased the pair and I really like them. They are like ninja pants, but the quality is a bit iffy. That is something to keep in mind. As for weekday, they have really nice oversized t-shirts and they come in different colors. And for collusion, they have really nice baggy jeans to match. Okay, so next up is H&M. And I know that weekday is under the H&M umbrella, but I want to talk about H&M, the brand, and their own sole lineup of essentials. I think that if you're trying to rebuild the essentials of your wardrobe with little funding, H&M is your best bet. They offer almost any sort of basic essential that you would want at very, very affordable prices. 
And because they're very affordable, you can experiment with different cuts and sizes just to see what you'd like. The great thing about being able to experiment different cuts, different styles and different sizes, you'll figure out what you like and what you don't like. For example, you may prefer a certain material over a different material or a certain size over a different size and how it fits on your body. This means that you will be able to build an understanding of your actual taste of clothes actually on your body rather than perceiving it from someone else wearing it. And that's important because when you start buying more expensive pieces, you won't have to doubt yourself whether you'll wear something or whether it'll look good on you. What matters is that you know that you want it and you know that you'll wear it and you'll make the use out of it. But even with that said, please keep in mind that the cheaper price tag comes with cheaper quality. This means that your clothes will get tattered very quickly. For example, a collar of a t-shirt may start to curl after three to four washes and that doesn't give off a great aesthetic, which means that you will probably have to replace your clothes more often. And in the long run, that is not cost effective. So what I would suggest is that if you have very little budget, do start your wardrobe from H&M to figure out what you like and what you don't like. And from there, buy the basics that you like from brands that offer better quality to last you longer. I remember when I was younger and I didn't have enough money to buy a full pair of Levi jeans, I would buy something similar from H&M. For example, their regular essential jeans, which look very similar to Levi 501s, just not as baggy. And that's the way you should be looking at H&M when you're trying to build a wardrobe with little funding. Okay, so I know that there's revolving uncertainty around Zara's quality, and I do agree with that. Some Zara pieces are very questionable after the first wash. But despite agreeing with that, I don't think that everything Zara offers is bad. Some of their stuff is really good. The thing about Zara is that they make fast fashion very affordable, but it's not always worth the money. However, when you do catch them on sale, some of their pieces are a bargain. And when you're on a budget, sales are your saving grace. They will give you the most bang for your buck. So spend your time looking through sales if you can. The great thing about essentials is that regardless of trends and seasonal items, they will always be viable. So if you can find a piece that Zara is offering on sale at a very good price, then why not pick it up? Another thing to keep in mind about Zara is that their stock is seasonal. Regardless of how popular an item is, once the season's over, the stock is gone. I put Zara on the list because I've had a lot of luck finding good items from the brand at really good prices. Another thing that really helps is that I never shop Zara online. So that means anytime I buy something from Zara, I'm always in person to check the quality of the item. Because some pieces might look really good Good, but in terms of quality, they won't last you that long. So it's always good to be there in person and check for yourself. And finally, because of how Zara deals with their stock, I don't really want to recommend anything specific because I know it won't be there in a few months. But that being said, you can always find good pieces from Zara, especially on sale. I generally look at jeans, jumpers, hoodies, and t-shirts from Zara because when they're on sale, they are very cheap, like probably even cheaper than H&M at some points. And as long as you take care of your pieces, they will last you longer, regardless of it being from Zara or not. And the final brand I want to recommend is Arquette. And it just brings in the question, how big is H&M? Because Arquette also falls under the H&M umbrella. Despite saying that, Arquette really does separate its brand from H&M and Weekday in terms of the quality of its items and the simplicity of their branding. You know you've walked into an Arquette store when you've walked into the Arquette store. There's literally no advertising around forcing you to buy anything. It's just all simple. They're really encouraging you to buy from their brand because they're selling you something tranquil, something simple, something of high quality and that's what you feel like when you're in their store. Arquette is definitely on the high end of the budget spectrum for essentials but what they offer is a high and precise level of quality that other high street brands don't have. For example I bought these organic cutting joggers from them over a year ago and I wear them all the time. I wear them lounging, I wear them shopping, I wear them to the gym, they have gone through the wash every single week since I've got them and they still look pretty decent. This is the sort of quality that Arquette offers. So despite being on the high end of the budget spectrum, their pieces are made to look good and last a long time. One of their most popular items is their heavyweight 220 GSM t-shirt. If you're looking for a really basic t-shirt to last you a long time, I would recommend this one. So these are the top five brands that I would recommend getting essentials from when you're on a budget. But to decide where to buy from, it's down to you and your preferences. For example, the Aerosin oversized t-shirt from Uniqlo is different from the oversized t-shirt from Weekday. They have different materials and different sort of fits. You may prefer one over the other, or maybe one suits a specific situation more. I hope that this video has helped you decide where to buy your basic essentials from. If it did, please leave a like. I recommend these brands because of my experiences with them. Let me know if you have different opinions about these brands or another brand that you would recommend. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and help me grow it. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I aim to get there by July. And as always, thank you very much for watching. 
and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.